and welcome back to another MuseScore tutorial. I apologize for my voice today because I am sick and it sounds really extraordinarily deep. Like I'm not, I'm just talking normally right now and it sounds like a million times deeper than it usually is. Anyway, so here we are today for another MuseScore tutorial. Today we'll be talking about changing the sound of an instrument, uh, PDFs, MP3, and exporting a song. First of all, we have changing the sound of one of the instruments. So we can change the, what these sound like. It doesn't have to just be voice and doesn't have to just be piano in our testing song here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up here to view and you're going to hit mixer. It's going to bring up the mixer. So this song only has two instruments, the voice and piano. So only two show up down here. As you can see here on the piano, it has Grand Piano here, and on the voice it says Choir Oz. So maybe we don't want choir voices, maybe we want a string instrument, like a violin. So we hit uh, the box with the little arrow, and we come down here to where it says Violin. So now, we can move this over here, and when we play back the song, it'll be the violin sound. instead of the voice. Uh, you can change them to any sound you want. Um, say we want a trumpet, so we come down here to the trumpet. And it sounds like a trumpet. Um, we'll change this back to violin for now. And we'll come over here to the piano and we'll say maybe we want not just a grand piano, but a bright grand piano. Or maybe we want an electric piano. And so, we'll put this back at grand piano for now. If you want to be able to just hear one of the, one of the lines of music, you'll hit the S, that's for solo. If you have multiple lines and you want to hear a couple at the same time, you can mute the different ones, and that will enable you to hear the ones you want to hear at that time. So maybe we'll just want to hear the piano. Or maybe we just want to hear the violin. So you could play around with that and figure out which sound you like. As you can see, we have a wide, wide selection of instruments to choose from. So say we found the ones that we want. And now we have to, like, we finish the song, finish writing all the notes, and now we want to save it. So here we have a bunch of measures at the end of our song. So what I'm going to do is shift click and then control delete to get rid of all of those extra measures. So now we have our song here. It's very short. It sounds ridiculous, but I am just showing you how to do things. So it doesn't matter what it sounds like. Okay. So now we have our song here. We want to save it and we want to maybe print it. You can print it right from the MuseScore application right here and you can export. We're gonna go to here. Um, you can export it as many different kinds. You can export it as an MP3, which is an audio file, a PDF, which is just a viewing file, and any of the other ones. Um, I have never used any of these except for PDF and MP3. Of course, you have your music, music score files as well down here. Um, but what, if you save it through MuseScore, then it will just save as a MuseScore file, and it can only be opened by MuseScore. Let's save ours for now as a PDF. And we're going to also save it as MP3. MP3. Perfect. Okay, so now when we go in, we can open a new 
file explorer mp3 takes a little while to export as it, as it does its thing see there it goes and it's done okay so we're gonna go into our file explorer to see our files we're gonna go documents you score scores okay so here's all our here's our mp3 right here here's the music score file for it and here's the pdf these three here are what we just did so we can come here open this and there we can see our page is our song and we could print it from here and mark it up and do all kinds of things with that uh, this is good if you want to send someone your song and you don't want them to change it at all maybe they have music score too and you send them the music score file and they change it up and you don't want that so instead of that you send them a pdf where they can't change it only print it so that's good for that uh, of course we also have our mp3 right here which is you know the audio for the song it's a 30 second clip so we're going to listen to the whole thing right now there's that so of course if you click on this one it brings you to the new score file where you can continue to edit it okay so that's all I have for today so this video is the fifth one in the series for these really basic beginner tutorials for new score of course there is a lot of other features here and so if you have any questions that you want answered go ahead and come here to one of my YouTube videos for the new score, and you can come down here and you can add a comment. Say anything I need, I can't talk about help with dynamics. And I will answer it and I will possibly add a video on for it. Um, I already have had a couple ideas from some people who commented on my videos. And so if you have a feature you're having trouble with, or if you have any questions about what certain buttons do feel free to comment below the videos and tell me what you need um, this is not the last new score tutorial i plan on making this is like the last one in this little series i plan on making a lot more videos with new score and i hope you guys look forward to that as well okay thank you guys for watching and uh, subscribe to see more videos and comment below on the ones that you like and comment the questions you have. Have a good day guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to look out for new videos and I'll see you next time.